Well, hello everyone, Taxi88 here and welcome to another review. And now I'm taking a look at the Amstrad CPC version of Professional Ski Simulator released by Codemasters. Now, I've just um, I recently reviewed the Sinclair ZX Spectrum version and I wasn't massively impressed with it. So let's see what this version is like. Uh, there's no skier too because I'm by myself. So, so it's got the same tune as the Spectrum version I just played here. Um, it had to start, press 1 for a 1 player game, 2 for a 2 player game, that's the same as before. Press I for instructions, R to redefine controls, N for new names. Oh! Now the Spectrum version used the term redefine even though you couldn't actually change the keys from presets but this one is actually allowing me to redefine key keys but I didn't properly redefine them to what I want them to be. So... Uh, it's not letting me use P, that must be pre-reserved for something else. Maybe it's pause, I don't know. But... Um, So, let's see what this is like. One. Ooh, speech. Pretty good speech for a computer this era. This era. Controls are exactly the same. And again, I'm having to mash a... And having to mash a button in order... In order to get going, even though I wouldn't have to mash this much if I was doing the real thing. So that's still the same problem I had with the Spectrum version that you. Have. I get these graphics look like colorized versions of the Spectrum version, but what. When John Gage did his review that spurred me to have a go at the Spectrum version, he seemed to reckon that uh, uh, rather than being th this being a Spectrum port, as was quite uh, quite often uh, a, th a thing on the CPC, he, he believes it might have been the other way round. I suppose it's possible, apart from this having having more colour than the Spectrum version, the, the graphics are otherwise identical. So I get the feeling that he, he might be on to something that the Spectrum version is just a, uh, is actually a port of this version and had the colour stripped away to get around attribute limitations of the Spectrum. I turn again. It's got the same problem that if you crash, you're facing pretty much the opposite direction. Oh, come on, get moving. See, why did they put that fence there? Again, facing the wrong way. Oh, yeah, I've got the same problem. I'm off the screen. Which basically means I haven't got a clue which way I'm facing, and I. And I'm, uh, I know, I know where I am, but I don't know where, what, what's in front of me or behind, behind me. And I, see, I can't. I, I don't know which way I'm facing. This is ridiculous. Why is the scrolling following the second player? I had exactly the same problem with the Spectrum version. Oh dear. This is not how you do scrolling. You have the scroll. This I say again. This should have been two player split screens. I had no chance. I had no idea which way I was facing. Oh dear me. Let's try that again. Why do I have to uh, why do I have to mash my buttons like this? Why can't why can't I just do it every so often like you see real skiers doing? They don't have to sort of uh, sort of prod their 
uh, prod their steep holes in the ground about five times a second, except maybe initially to get going, um, but even then not that much. Yeah, this is... I'm still, I'm still absolutely aghast. It's had the same problem of the, of the, of a player being able to be uh, to to be scrolled off the screen. Uh, third stage. That that is nice speech though. Oh, for God's sake, I turn... Again, he's facing the wrong way. Why can't he just face you in it? See, I'm stuck. I can't... Oh, I'm going to be scrolled off the screen again. Look at this. This is ridiculous. It should never be like this. And now I haven't got a clue where I'm going. Because I can't tell which direction I'm facing. I can't do anything. There could be a great big mound in front there in front of me and I can't and I'll be probably endlessly crashing into it. See look my red dot on the map on the right which is the uppermost red dot, it's just going all over the place. Even when I'm not actually steering. See look, even the second player's gone off the bottom of the screen. What is with the scrolling in these games? This all makes me wonder what the Commodore 64 version's like. See, I, I give up. I can't do anything. I haven't got a clue what's going on. No. So that's Professional Ski Simulator for the Amstrad CPC. Apart from being the, um, from having that speech and the, and the color, more colourful graphics, in essence the game's the same, so it's not going to get a different score from me, I'm afraid. Um, at least not in terms of, uh, of actually playing the thing, because it's just as frustrating to play. I mean, literally, the only, uh, the only difference in graphics is that there's uh, the, 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 the because the uh, CPC doesn't have the same attribute limitations as the Spectrum. It was able to have more color, but that in itself is not really enough to, um, to give it a higher score. And the, though the speech is nice, I. And it's clear, especially for a 1987 game, it it doesn't it doesn't affect the fact that the game is still a, an absolute duck to play. So, three out of ten for this version. Anyway, I hope you enjoyed that review. Catch you on another one soon. Texie88 out.